welcome back to my channel today I'm just gonna show you guys how I get this bun right here I call this my Kim K bun because I just feel like I'm just Kim K like I'm Kim Kardashian you know am I Kim Kardashian or am I Brianna <laughs> Sorry. but no this is and this is how I get my Kim K bun because it's so sleek and then I'm going to show you guys how I got my other bun that you guys wanted to see. The one in my Summer Glowy video. And they're really easy. So if you want to see how I get these very simple, easy buns, keep on watching. So I already washed my hair. My hair is just, I don't really wash my hair. I mean, I wash it, but I don't use shampoo. I use a co-wash. And I've seen that that's a lot better for your hair and it's not as drying. It actually isn't drying actually. It's better not to really wash your hair because you want your natural oils. So what I use is a co-wash. And um, I did moisturize my hair already and I used the um, Shea Moisture Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. And this is, I really like this. Um, it smells pretty good and a lot comes in it. It is, it's like you would think it wouldn't really work because it's like a watery base but it's good because it doesn't weigh your hair down which you don't want your hair to be weighed down you know so what you're gonna need for these buns is a brush that you can smooth it down with um, and if your hair is like you know tangled or something a good brush and I love this brush when I wear my hair curly down because it really like defines my curls and this is a Denman brush you can get this at like Sally's I think even Walmart but I feel like Sally's is the cheapest um, and then you need your little toothbrush. I'm going to show you how I get these edges laid. And for your products, you're going to need, like, any gel that you like. I like this Eco Style gel. This is a black castor and flaxseed oil. I got this back home in Virginia at some, like, beauty supply store. Um, and then for your baby hairs. Yeah, it's thundering. Like, lately it's been wanting to storm when I decide to film. Anyway, so you're gonna need an edge control. This right here is the best edge control I feel like out there. For one, it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells amazing. Like throughout the day, I can smell it and I love it. Um, as you can see, it's like pretty much almost gone. Um, but this is by Can Two, and this is Extra Hold Edge Stay Gel. That's what it says, and it's for natural hair. Uh, it has no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, or mineral oil, which is amazing. I pretty much use all natural products, like no sulfates in any of my stuff. All my stuff is natural. And this is a really good edge control because it doesn't flake your edges throughout the day. You know how some like gels or edge control tends to start flaking? This doesn't do it. It like moisturizes your edges and keeps them laid. They do not move. They don't get frizzy. It's amazing. And all of this stuff is cheap. Literally cheap. As y'all can see from my channel, I like cheap. I like a sale. I like to save money. All of this stuff is cheap. The most expensive I would say is the Shea Moisture, but y'all know Shea Moisture is already start I think the lowest price is like ten dollars so I mean it's worth it though you get this big big ass jar pretty much to moisturize your hair and I've had this I've had this since I was still living in Virginia and I had this like two months before I moved here so it's been like three months and I still have a good amount in here and I use this like every day so that's what you need and then you also need two scrunchies I don't know one if you one if you want it kind of loose but me I like when I do my butt you'll see you'll see so you'll need you'll need two scrunchies and bobby pins if you need bobby pins like if you have layers that are really like a lot of layers where you feel like it's gonna like come out throughout the day then that's what you'll need as well so first what I like to do is just get a comb or a brush and just comb through my hair okay I forgot to tell y'all too, like a little a comb like this. They have the longer ones, but this is like my little travel size. I've had this forever. So this is what you're going to need to get those parts. You need a really precise comb like this. And this is what you're going to need to get that part. So the first bun I'm going to do is the real slick side one that you guys saw in my summer glowy makeup tutorial. So I'm just going to part it right here on the side like this. You can go as far as you guys want. Ooh. You guys can go as far as you want and just try to get as straight of a line as you can it's not gonna be super straight you know especially all the time and then what I like to do is get my hair back here and brush it back because you don't want this straight line going all the way back okay and then what I like to do is normally I'm in my bath and when I do my hair so I have like the sink running 
So then I just like to like get my edges wet so they can lay down pretty good. And then I get my brush and I just brush. Brush it back slick, as sleek and slick as you can. And then for this part, for this part, take, oh, don't wanna mess this up. Take this, take your comb and kinda like brush it down like this. And then you wanna kinda like lay it on your forehead. And just lay it down. And I keep going over it a good couple of times just so I can get all the bumps and stuff out of the the front of the hair because you don't want bumps and lumps and you know shit like that. So and then you kind of push it behind your ear. Put your fingers. And you want it to lay as low as you can down behind your ear. You don't want it up high. Cause then it just won't really look too, too nice, you know? Okay, and then you brush in the back. Keep brushing in the back so it can be flat. And then you get it. I like mine low. So you just grab it into a little ponytail like this. And then this is where my first scrunchie comes in. And I'm just doing it in a ponytail right now, as you guys can see. I'm doing it in a ponytail and then I just like to do like this to make it a little tight and then what I'm gonna do with this other scrunchie and now I'm just gonna get it and make sure it's tight enough and then twirl it for a bun and your bun may not always come out exactly how you like it but there's my bun I have like a piece back here hanging out but if I had a bobby pin with me, it's in the bathroom, but if I had a bobby pin with me, I would just like tuck it in there. So, and that's this side. But you're not finished. Like, you see on this side, it's kind of sticking up some. So what you're gonna do is just brush it. Brush it back. And then you're gonna go back to the front and still lay down some more. And you want to get all the lines. You don't want any lines. No lines. That's not cute. See, like, look, you can see these. You don't want that. And then I take, like, the tip of my brush and I try to get them as close as I can. And now, after you have that, normally I'm in the bathroom, so don't, I'm not. Oh my God, my bra keeps showing. That is not cute. So then I'm gonna just squirt right here so it can be wet. And I'm gonna get my toothbrush. This is my little free toothbrush I think I got from my dentist. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go like this and bring these hairs down. Bring them down right here. And then you just swirl them. Bring out all your baby hairs that you have around your face. And I like to it's like four places I feel like I go when I do my baby hairs. It's like right here at the top, kind of in the middle, towards the end, and then the very end. And I just do simply like this, and then you can also lay down any flyaways. And also, like if it starts to stick up again, you can just take your toothbrush and go like this. And then for this side, can't forget, let me just do right here. Get this little edge, and then I like to bring out these little baby hairs right here. Okay, and then what I like to do now is go in. I like to go in with my Eco Style Gel, and you really just need a little, just a little. And I just take it on my hand like this, and I get where I feel like, if you guys have wore your hair like this before and you realize some pieces start to come out throughout the day, then you that's where you wanna focus the main gel like mine is right here this is where mine is at right here and a little bit up here and then just to lay it down back here and then also right here on this side as well it likes to come up 
And then you would just get your edge control. So you just take a little bit of it and you just lay your baby hairs down with this, you know. So they can stay down all day. And sometimes using this, your baby hairs may come out of place. So all you have to do is just take your little toothbrush again and lay down. Because sometimes the way the texture is, it kind of lifts it up a little. You'll understand if y'all have this or you go out and get it. But yeah, this is it for this hairstyle. Um, you see, it kind of came out of place right here. So I'm going to just take... Hair be falling out. Y'all y'all know when y'all be taking the shower when y'all hair be falling out. That annoys me because it's like, am I losing hair? Am I going bald? What is going on? So this is pretty much it. Baby hairs. That's how I do my baby hairs every day. I use a toothbrush because... If you try to use this brush, I just feel like it doesn't get them as precise because your baby hairs are like not as long as your regular hair, so you don't need a full on brush. So get you any toothbrush. You don't even need, I think they sell these little cheap things at the dollar store. So you can go get this little toothbrush at the dollar store um, or just go buy your toothbrush. No fancy shit. You don't need no fancy shit. And this is pretty much it. Like, you guys have requested for this video so i was like let me go ahead and make this for you because a lot of people you know a lot of people asked for it so i hope you guys enjoyed my little quickie on how i get this hairstyle um it's pretty laid right now like and what i love what i love about this hairstyle like you can dress it down you can dress it up like this would be like with these earrings i have in i could wear this like if i'm going to an interview or something or just going out to dinner you know or like the first time you guys saw I had my big ass hoops in from the dollar store, dollar store from the uh, little Chinese store. That's how you can like dress it down, you know? So that's what I really, really love about this hairstyle. Anywhere you want to go. Yeah. Alright, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I get the Kim K bun. <laughs> I'll be feeling like Kim K when I got my bun like that and I got my sun of shades on, okay? So my baby hairs are still laid on this side. So what you're going to do is still take this comb to get that part. And for this one, you want your part to be in the middle. Me, my part's like never in the middle. It's like over here by this eyebrow. It's like, no girl, it's supposed to be in the middle of your head. Right here in the middle. But anyways, we're going to try to get this part in the middle. This one's pretty easy, like. I mean, both of them are really easy. The other one's just a little tricky because you want it to be laid down in the middle right there. So you get your hair right like, that's like funny like this. You get your hair and you just part it right in the middle and then you bring it back like in the other one too because you don't want your straight line go all the way. You don't want a pigtail type of bun. So then you just get your brush. And it's basically like the same technique, really. It's just kind of like you're doing it on both sides, though. You just brush them down here in the front. And then you're going to go in the back to smooth down the back as well. And then just keep smoothing as much as you need to. And after it's laid down, you're going to go like this and pull it together. And you may need to brush it some more while you're doing this. So all of that can be laid down and go in your ponytail that you're about to create. And then you just take your scrunchie. You're just doing a ponytail again. And then you're just gonna do the same and twist. Get your other scrunchie. And you're just tying your bun. And then what you wanna do is get your brush again. And get it all smooth if you need to get it smooth again which I normally always have to do. And then what I like to do is 
be, since I'm not in the bathroom, I'm just gonna get my brush and wet it, toothbrush, and really get the front of my hair slicked down. And anywhere else you feel like it's not as laid down. And then I'm gonna get some of these baby hairs out right here in the corner. We're gonna start right here. We're not gonna do any up here. And I just like to kind of like swirl it in and then do the same. Champagne for breakfast. First things first, never put you. And I'm not gonna put gel in my hair because I already did doing the other one, so it'll be fine. And that's it for this one. It's very like slicked down. You can get you any bobby pins to like, lay any hairs down if you have any poking out back there. I have some, but it's okay. These are just my two simple buns. I normally always wear my hair like this, literally, like when I don't want my want to wear my hair up. I mean, wear my hair down. I wear it like this, or if my hair is like dry already, I just put it in like a little high bun. Um, and then I do the slick one if I really am trying to be fancy. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you want to see on my channel, like maybe a QA, and a um, another get ready with me. If you want to see like a challenge on my channel that people are doing on YouTube, you can let me know in the comments down below. So just let me know what you guys really would like to see on my channel. You guys have been doing a great job already at letting me know. That's why I've been getting out here and doing what you guys want me to do. Like you wanted me to do this hairstyle. And you wanted me to do the last look I just put up on my channel with the yellow. So, you know, I'm, do I'm, I'm trying to work with y'all. I'm trying to work with y'all. So, yeah. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. And if you aren't new to my channel, make sure you put on those notifications, the notification little bell. And you will know exactly when my videos are uploaded. And that is it, you guys. Sweet, short, and simple. Now I'm about to go eat. Your girl is starving. It is 2.39 in the afternoon here, and I have not eaten a thing. All I've had was some water. And my eyes just melted, so it's like a loop coat. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.